Hi, I'm John McGeary, your CEO for Horizon Health Network. As you know, we've just recently completed our strategic plan. We're excited about this plan, and we've entitled it Horizon Health Network and Partners, A Healthier Future for New Brunswick. We think that together, we're going to be able to improve the health care for all New Brunswickers. Health care is very complex. We all know that change is required. This plan will be a blueprint for us to manage that change. It's our number one job to ensure that New Brunswickers are healthy, and each and every one of you has a role to play in that. This plan affects everyone, and over the past year, we've involved staff, physicians, the public, and other community stakeholders in developing a plan that works. We know that everybody has something to say, and we wanted to be sure that this plan reflected the thoughts of our entire community. In New Brunswick, healthcare is very expensive. 40%, or $3.1 billion, goes to healthcare. That's more than $6,000 each and every minute of every day. In this year-long consultation with staff and the public, we heard one thing. Don't spend more money, but spend it more efficiently and give us more effective results. New Brunswick doesn't have great results for the money that we've spent. Issues of timely access to care, we have high obesity rates, we have high smoking rates, high rates of alcohol use, high respiratory and cardiac disease. One in four of our beds is occupied by seniors who would be much better looked after in the community or in their home. We've got a lot of work to do. Our hospital system was built at the time when the average age of New Brunswickers was 23. The average age is now about 44. This has serious ramifications for our system. An organization's mission is what it does every day. Our mission is helping people be healthy. How more basic can you get? An organization's vision statement should be aspirational. Our vision is exceptional care, every person, every day. We would like that vision to be exemplified in every interaction with our patients and community. That's in public health, in home care, at registration, in emergency, up on the floors and in cafeteria. Everybody has a part to play in this, as I've said. Our values are how we deal every day with each other and with our patients. We show empathy, compassion and respect. We strive for excellence. We're all leaders, yet we work as a team. We act with integrity and are accountable. During our year-long consultation, we heard many priorities from the stakeholders. But we have focused on four strategic priorities to take us into the future. Priority one shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. You've heard a lot about this in the past year. And it is foundational to all of our other priorities. It is to establish a very vibrant and robust patient and family-centered care environment, where patients and their families feel part of the care team and are integrated into all of our programs. Strategic priority two is an organizational matter. For years, Horizon Health Network has provided exemplary service. But you know, in those stakeholder sessions, we heard a lot about the value of centers of expertise. Centers of expertise operate like a hub and spoke system. In those systems, professionals from the high volume centers, usually those with the highest level of training and experience, can provide their expertise to people throughout the system in the smallest centers. In this manner, all of our patients can benefit from best practice and standard protocols. This leads to the safest, most reliable and efficient quality care, guided by the principles of quality, efficiency, access and clinical sustainability and working with our clinical professionals. Over the next five years, we will designate seven Horizon Centers of Expertise. Those centers will be aging and elder care, neurosciences, maternal and child, oncology, and nephrology. And we will reaffirm the center of cardiac care at the New Brunswick Heart Center St. John Regional Hospital and rehabilitative medicine at the Stan Cassidy Center for Rehabilitative Medicine. This will create a sustainable system that will be there for our citizens, optimizing our specialists, allied health professionals, primary care professionals, facilities and specialized equipment and will also drive research activity across a Horizon Health Network. I mentioned earlier how our population has aged in the past 40 years. That leads to strategic priority three. We need to work with our community partners and clinicians to improve community care and to provide those expensive tertiary services that an older population will require. Horizon Health spends more than a billion dollars providing care every year. 
A spending pattern looks a lot like a barrel. Wide in the middle, narrow at the top, and narrow at the bottom. That barrel also represents tertiary care at the top, secondary care in our hospitals in the middle, and community care at the bottom. We need to be squeezing the middle to provide more resources for community care and more resources for the tertiary care that an older population will require. Over the next five years, we will be reallocating our resources so that more is going to those expensive tertiary services and more is going out into the community, out of our hospitals, to serve the public better. In our communities, this will allow elderly people to stay in their homes longer, providing better care for chronic disease patients as well. This transfer of resources into community care will allow residents to get better care in their home environment and allow better chronic disease management in the communities. Priority four is one we can't do on our own. We don't have direct control. But you're going to hear our voice. Over the next five years, you're going to hear us talk loudly and strongly about advocating for change. Health and long-term care coming together in a more integrated fashion. And other models of care that we think provide a better level of service. Breaking down silos is all of what Priority 4 is about. So let's summarize those four priorities. First of all, and above all, we will embed a patient and family-centered care culture. Secondly, we will create a clinical organization led by strong centers of expertise, enhancing research capacity. Third, we will reallocate our expenditures to reflect an aging population with new needs. And finally, we will break barriers and partner with others in support of population needs. So how will we do this? I'm here today to commit to improved staff and physician engagement. Everybody has been a part of developing this plan. Everybody needs to be a part of making it a success. I'm asking for your help today to do that. Exceptional care, every person, every day. That shouldn't be hard for us to remember. We can do this together. I look forward to working with you in the next few years to make Horizon Health Network a great organization to work for and a great organization to provide service to the public of New Brunswick. Together, a healthier future for New Brunswickers. Thank you.